Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS gradients. CSS gradients provide uh, background colors for, a, uh, for an element with more than one color combination. So, so far we have talked about how we can provide a color to a background or to an element but what uh, gradients allow you to do uh, is to provide like a, a range of colors. Like, think of it like a rainbow. You can create a rainbow with CSS with this CSS gradient. The easiest way. So in uh, HTML, we have an H2. We have a paragraph and uh, hmm, that's it. So let's move on to CSS gradients. Let's grab this section. And I'm going to provide some padding, 25 pixels, uh, color white, and height, 500 pixels. There we go. So we have two kinds of gradients. The first one is linear, and the second one is radial. We're going to talk about both of them. Uh, so the background, uh, sorry, the gradient is actually a background image. So whenever you want to create a gradient, you need to provide background image. And then you have, uh, where is it? You have the linear gradient and radial. We have repeating linear gradient and repeating radial gradient, which is like getting a lot, of, a, a, a lot crazy. They are suitable for a CSS course, not for a Python course. So I'm just going to grab the linear gradient and the radial gradient just to give you some idea. So the way they work is you first provide your first color. So for example, this is my first color. And then you provide your second color. And what CSS is going to do is CSS is going to go from this color to this color in a smooth transitional way. Save that. There we go. So you can see that on the top, it's light blue. As we are coming towards the bottom, it's getting darker and darker for blue like like a little bit darker blue this is called like a css gradient so yeah, like you can see that it is like a gradual transition of color from one color to any any other color so it doesn't matter what color you provide in here as long as it is like a cool gradient technically you can provide any two colors that you want any color code that you want so this is the first example we are going to go to the next example. You can change the direction that this color flows. So by default, it's from top to bottom. You can change it to, you can just say to right as another argument to this function. And by the way, linear gradient is a CSS function. You're just going to provide another argument. So now it is going to flow from right. It is going to flow to the right. And the last color is going to be to the right. So last color is going to be to the right. Let's save that. And now you can see that here. I'm going to change these uh, colors a little bit. I'm going to provide different colors not to stay consistent. Not to just, uh, just to a little bit diversify. There we go. So you can see we start from left and we go to right. It doesn't matter where we're starting from. What matters is where we are going to end. And usually for most parts, most of the times, always, <laughs> it's going to be the opposite side. So from the opposite side, you're going to start and you're going to end to the right. You can also go to top for which this is the color. You just write to top. Very simple, like simple English. Then the first color is going to start here. The second color is going to go there. You can also say to bottom. In case you're wondering about why do we have four properties and only one of them applies, that is because of specificity as well. Because uh, all of them, all of them have the same. <clears throat> excuse me. All of them have the same specificity. So. So um, uh, the one which comes last is going to be applied exactly like Python. Uh, I'm going to provide another. Uh, so you can provide more than two colors as well. So you can say background image, radial, uh, sorry, linear, linear gradient. 
and in here I'm gonna say so let's say the first I want I want all the colors I want the colors to finish to the left the first color is gonna be an HSL which is gonna be one three one one hundred percent one hundred percent and two five percent then I'm gonna provide another comma just separate them by commas as long as you separate it you can add technically 1000 colors this is going to be a hexadecimal code one 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 now four o's f nine and then I'm gonna say RGB one three four comma zero comma uh, one two five save that so this is what we are gonna get so we are gonna end to the left which is the color that is the end color the end color is this what is this color is this like uh purple um yeah it's purple yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time so uh this is purple so when you say to left the final color is the purple color that you've added here that's basically what it means purple there we go so this is uh linear you can see that the what mean what it means by linear is like the flow of color is linear when you set it to radial it's going to be a radial it's going to be like circular i'm sure you're familiar with the literal meaning of it so background image mask image background image um radial gradient uh, for radial gradient you need to specify what type of radial you want there are two circle and ellipse so you want a circular motion or an elliptical motion elliptical is like the um, the axis around around this Sun that the earth is like ro like uh, running is it revolving sorry it's revolving rotating is like uh, it's rotating on its own axis and revolving around the Sun it's like uh, elliptical that's um, something <laughs> so I'm gonna say circle uh, the first color and the last colors are gonna be these two so you can see that they start from the metal and they radiate right right like the Sun they radiate so the starting point is going to be the first color the ending point is going to be the radial action that we have so so the flow of color is no longer um, uh, linear it's radial like circular flow radiation like the Sun it's exactly like that and if you change it to uh, I'm going to change it to different colors let's put it there and if you change it to ellipse save it uh, ellipse. why is it not oh let's save that no it's the same why is it the same hmm radial gradient we have ellipse ellipse let me just do it again from the top so we have radial gradient so in here background image we have radial gradient pressing point smooth this one I want a circle or elliptical shape so it does say colors emerge from a single point and smoothly spread outward in a circular or elliptical shape so I mean, let me just grab the circle and remove it from there so it's circular right why am I not doing it correctly did I forget it, it it used to be ellipse or elliptical no elliptical it's ellipse uh, oh I'm gonna provide the colors I think I found the issue why we, we cannot see that so I'm gonna comment that one out and I'm gonna say circle comment that one and um, it doesn't really matter now if I save this you can see that we are basically in this range right so here so if I enlarge this now you can see we got an ellipse but if I comment this one out you're gonna get a circle 
The reason that it didn't show was because the height and width, they were like proportionate. That's why when you squish an ellipse, you're going to end up with a circle, right? Geometrically speaking, when you squish it, you're going to end up with an ellipse. And we just did that in here. So if I save this, and if I go bigger, you can see that it's an elliptical. It's like you can see there is the sun. So I could say uh, orange. You can really see it. Orange, and then like everything is revolving around it. But I'm going to go back to my own color. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.